In this video we are going to review the fetal skull. Hopefully you've looked at the earlier versions of the adult skull. Once you've learned the structures on the adult skull, it makes it easier to identify them on the fetal skull as they're not fully developed, so they're a little different in appearance. This is the, the face of the fetal skull. You can see the two small nasal bones, the eye sockets. This is the underdeveloped maxillary bone or maxilla, the upper jaw, and the underdeveloped mandible or lower jaw just to orient you. If we tilt this forward and look at some of these sutures, again, they are not complete on the fetal skull as they would be on the adult skull, but you can see the representations of them. The sagittal suture here, the coronal suture connecting the frontal bone to the two parietal bones, and you even see the sagittal suture extending into the frontal bone. You usually will not observe this on an adult skull. It's no longer visible. This pink area here represents the anterior fontanelle, what we would commonly refer to as the soft spot. And again, it's because these plates have not fully grown together. The baby's head is still growing, changing shape, and that accommodates the growth. As we rotate back following the sagittal suture, you'll see the posterior fontanelle, right at about the point where the two parietal bones and the occipital bone to com will come together. Uh, on the adult skull, you've viewed this part as the lambdoidal suture, and the same is true on the fetal skull. We we'll rotate to a lateral aspect now. You can still see the frontal bone, the coronal suture, the parietal bone. You can also see the temporal bone and the squamosal suture. Right here, we have a small zygomatic arch visible, and this indentation is what will ultimately become the external acoustic meatus still not developed. Just behind that you would have the mastoid process almost unidentifiable in this skull as it is juvenile. Also on this lateral aspect you see the anterolateral fontanelle and the posterolateral fontanelle. Now we'll rotate to an inferior view. Actually I'll turn it this way. You can see the occipital bone, your two occipital condyles that will articulate with C1, the atlas. This here represents the foramen magnum. And then finally, the palatine process of the maxillary bone and the palatine bone. These are very underdeveloped, so they might be a little more difficult to recognize. But if you've reviewed the adult skull, it'll make this much more uh, understandable for you.